Hello, hi. Um, we have the Samsung watch, and it's not. Uh, it came for not charging. Salam. So what we have done, we are what we are doing here. We're trying to make sure that is showing any sort of voltage coming on these pins. What the hell? Okay, let's check now. Okay, this is no voltage at all. It's not showing no voltage. Why? Okay, maybe this meter was not on properly. Let me just check. It's on. Now, let's check the voltage. What is this? We got no voltage. We got no voltage here, so I'm gonna try and check any sort of voltage coming on another charger. Right, so yeah, finally, we just have to make sure that we have some sort of voltage coming on these charging pins. Just connecting here with the charger, and it's kind of, it's, it's, I think it's a cradle to hold the watch. And then here it connects on the back side of the watch. You can see that. Just connects here on these pins. Right, so initial test we did, we had a voltage here and the voltage was coming here as well from the battery when it was connected uh, the device was still not powering on so let me just check that yeah so we're getting some sort of voltage which is not enough It's 2.2 something, whatever. So it was, it had a two, four screws here. I dismantled the four screws, and then after that, it was just open the watch, the opener. Just be careful I'm doing that. So this is what you get. There was one of these plate was inside as well was here this I guess so we disconnect that by lifting up from here and when this is off and you're okay with the battery so this was the battery here so let's test the voltage on the battery I've done this test I'm just making a video again to so we had a 4.34 volt that means right what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna check the i'm gonna connect the charger here i'm gonna connect the charger here charger cradle i'm gonna see what kind of voltage is coming on these pins here right to hold it getting some sort of voltage 
probably gonna get more than that because yeah so that's how you can test if the voltage is coming on the board through the flex from the charging block from this cradle all those pins and everything so you can check the voltage is coming here all the way and that connects to the battery which is here these pins are of the batteries and that's where you get the voltage and I have tested the voltage here on the battery pins which is four point something four point three eight three oh well I think the problem was just to disconnect and connect maybe it had some corrosion or some kind uh, uh, any kind of stuff between the battery and that charging thing charging prong so just clean it with this alcohol and put it back on this is it that's what I did on this we usually get for a charging block as well so if we've got a charging block we can do the charging block too if the charging block is broken if the battery needs replacing and if you need LCD need replacing too so it's not that difficult right so Let's check what I have. Okay, I'm trying to look for my opener. Have I dropped it? No. It's here. Right here. In front of me. There's a sealing tape here. Which is not on, no we on, it is power on. Here we go, power's on. And goes all the way in. It came for not charging, it was not the charging block is okay the pins are fine here okay so let me test it and then close it so if you see the physically charging block is not broken and you're getting the enough voltage on the pins the, this part of the watch and you're getting a voltage reverse from the battery to the pins that means it's nothing to do with the charging block or anything that means something is stopping it to work so you open it and discount um, clean the connections between battery and uh, the board and this is it that does the job so yeah Fine, touch is okay. Watch working. That should be all done. Uh, I'm gonna make more video later on. Hopefully, that's gonna help others if they're trying to troubleshoot this device. Cheers, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.